Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at Integra Coach's entry-level Class A gas motorhome. This is the 2020 Integra Coach Vision Model 31B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel that's gonna give you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs so if you find reviews like this enjoyable consider subscribing and again today I'm super excited to take a look at the 2020 Integra coach vision Andrea uh, we're running out of models to do for 2020 so uh, we might have to take a trip to Tampa yes. to review some units that we uh, haven't done yet. Definitely. Now, before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. I'm getting a tan today. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice weather it is. for it being May. Definitely. It's not humid. It's beautiful out here. I yeah. hope you guys are doing well. Excited to show you the vision. Hope you guys love it. Cool. Let's begin. Model is 31V. But the actual tip to tip length is 32 feet, two inches. This is Integra Coach's entry level Class A gas motorhome. It's not to be confused with the Vision XL, which is a big step above this unit. But again, this one's entry level. It's all about price point. And yeah, so up front here, you do have partial body paint. It's only covering that front cap to make sure it doesn't fade. And you do have the nice LED lights right here and the Integra look. Uh, this is. Integra Coach is made by Jayco, so this is going to be the same exact product as if you're looking at a Jayco Elante 31V. It does have the Ford V10 engine, smaller tires, the Goodyear tire, at least your Goodyear, hell yeah. They're the 245-70R 19.5s. Right here, you do have a black mirror with cameras integrated in the left side, right side, and reverse. Right here, you got some storage. Pretty nice. Look at this. Even though it's entry level. Love that. Love that. Love those doors. Because this is an Integra coach, you do, it is upfitted. The chassis has been upfitted with the, they call it the easy drive system. Oh. Check out that storage. Oh man. That's nice. Yep. You got frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. Look at that. That's kind of weird. You only have one window on this side. Um, and you do have a nice big power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Nice. Nice power awning, Andrea. I love look how it. Big that awning is. It is almost the whole length of the motorhome, and I love the pattern. Yeah, that's just awesome. Now, Andrea. Yes. People said love bugs are bad, and I didn't believe them. Look at that. They're everywhere, folks. Yes. I went on a test drive. And by the end of the test, I went on a test drive yesterday, and by the end of the test drive, there had to be a hundred love bugs on the windshield. Right there, we got more storage. Nice pasture storage, yeah. pretty nice. Right here is your uh, hot water heater. Whamp, whamp. They should have painted that. They should have. Right here's your battery tray. I love how it's on a Moride side out tray. And right there's your propane. It's 16.5 gallons of propane also. That's propane quick connect. Nice. Also, people have all the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. Now, Matt, this is weird. Oh, nice. That's cool, huh? It's weird that the TV's right here and not. It is weird that it's back up there. there more, but it's okay. It's different, but uh, I like the entertainment center. Yeah, that is weird. Kind of funny. More storage there. Nice. I tell you what. For entry level, it's pretty good storage. Definitely. And All more right. storage. Great. Coming around the back, you have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Oh, dang, nab it. No ladder. No ladder. That's right. It is prepped for a ladder. Actually, you know what? We're going to climb up on this one. Okay. Because if they're, they have the same roofs. Okay. It does have a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. 
Here we go now. Hold on, babe. All right, so up here on that roof, it is a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. You can see there's not one, but two air conditioning systems. Right up there's your King Air digital antenna. And back there, you can see right there that it is prepped for solar. Babe, oh, hold on now. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on a different motorhome to show you another motorhome's <laughs> roof? Nobody. Nobody. And I forgot to mention 5,000 pound hitch. And you do have a backup camera there. Nice. Finishing up with the driver's side. There's your power cord, 50 amp motor home, power cord reel, right over there. Oh, I like got, that. I love it. Even their entry level stuff. It just looks so great the way they That's do it. That's awesome. Water purifier, all that good stuff. Right here, you, it does have a, um. here's your fuel tank, uh, 80 gallon fuel capacity. Dang nabbit. Right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. Oh, More storage. The other side. More storage. This is crazy amount of good storage. Yeah, it is. I like it. Yep. Right here is your Cummins Onan 5500 generator. And then here, finishing up with just more storage. Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but the storage is absolutely incredible. But the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh my goodness. Wow. No, is kidding. it cool in here? Let's see, what's the cargo? 2197 cargo carrying capacity, everyone. 2,197 pounds. That's awesome. No, Andrea. Yes. This is Lines the same exact floor plan as the uh, as my favorite unit, the Odyssey 29V. And look at the slides are in, and it's look at this walkway for the slides. Slide. Yep. Oh my gosh! Very very nice. Here's the bathroom. Nice. And then here's your bedroom. Yep. Very nice. Now Andrea. Yes. Well, the slide outs are going out. We got a favor to ask everybody. If you could leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you love about this Integra and the three things you don't like about it. The more people who are commenting and smashing that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to reward us by spreading our videos to other people on YouTube. Yes. So we thank each and every one of you. And we do know with the new Integras that we're seeing, trust me folks, they've making changes. Yay. And it's very exciting. <laughs> They're listening. Hint, hint, Cody, we love the Integra Vision. <laughs> Great, so up here in the cockpit area, typical cockpit area, you got I your like auto it. leveling, got your cup holder there, shades, head. battery boost, power mirrors, all that good stuff. You know, just typical, kind of like the dash going on there. This, you got the Apple CarPlay, works with Apple CarPlay and Android and cameras and all that good stuff. Andre, sit in the driver's seat. Oh, I am missing the that there's not a, you know, little table here. Well, hey, Andrea. Yes. Rumor has it um, that the 2021s have that awesome. and it's upgraded. Yes. And so what we have but, here, oh, but no. you'll get a better deal on this one, of course. There's a place for a cell phone. Uh-huh, that's cool. That's got cool. USB electrical outlet. Oh, the holder. little lip there. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I have plenty of leg space. Yep. It's a comfortable chair. Yep. Um, cabinets up here, guys. Uh -huh. Check that out. Very nice. Very nice. And both seats do swivel to become part of the living yes, area. Yes, as you can see, you have... Uh, it's prepped there for the uh, yep. what's it called pedestal table. Yep, absolutely. All right, and we and have cabinets on that side as well. We sure do, and you do have a bunk over the cab, and it holds it's, 750 pounds. It's seat belted in, honey. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this this bunk over the cab is amazing. It holds the most weight in the industry. Yep. And look at it; it's great. It's a nice. It's comfortable. Mm. Yep. It's big. The only thing, oh, there's ladder. a ladder. The only thing I wish they would do is uh, 
had safety net around it. Right. Well, you do got these things that kind of. Well, that's good. But still, I concur with you. Look how fast that goes up. Babe, you should turn the air on. It's a little warm in here. Yeah, it's kind of hot. It's getting hot in her. <laughs> And oh, we'll be okay. we have a cabinet over here yep. above the door. Yep. Matt, you open that. Can four. All right. Check it out. And as you can see down here, you do have a light on the floor. One of my favorite features about Integra is they have lights. Yep. And then down here, you just have your awning and power button. Yep. And interior lights here. And, and then over here, you do have the sofa. Oh. I do like how it reclines instead of trifold. I like that, and you're kind of looking directly across the TV. It's kind of, I'm not going to lie, a weird TV it is, placement, it is I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Right over here, in the storage above, right? You got nice cabinets there, frameless windows behind you. And we got MCD or just... Um, oh, we got day shades. Just day shades. Okay. Not privacy shades. Or night shades. Right, just night shades, not privacy shades. Yep. And that is there. That looks um, pretty comfy. Yep. So let me show this area. I love that window. Here's the dinette. Again, I like how it's by the window. You got your table right here. It does drop down to make a bed. And I do like how you have the cup holders in the table. It's that big. window, I love that. That's a big window. Yep. And guys, you know what? I kind of like the balances. What do you think? Let me know. You like the balances? I like them. And I'm usually pretty picky. Andrea. Yes. Are those balances Art Deco? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Not Art Deco. We got storage under the dinette. Yep, storage under the dinette. Not a fan of that. I, you know, more and more as I see this. So check it out, y'all, right? So when you got to take this off and do all this work, you do get more storage than the drawer, but I prefer the drawer. I'll take less storage and less hassle any day over the drawer. Definitely. And right behind you, look, guys. We got a mirror. Oh man. That's and look what they're doing with the two tone chair well look. Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Andrea. Yes. It's now time for the MSRP. Yes. Burr, 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 burr. What? You gotta open a window, babe. Okay. What? Get look hot? at you. Look at you. Look at you. Don't look at me. Look, look at, at you. you. Look at you in the mirror. <laughs> All right. MSRP on this motorhome is $136,000. Seven hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Wow. MSRP. Sale price, Andrea. Twenty twenty ones are out. They're coming. We got three of these left, and we're trying to get them out of here. Get them out. Thirty-five percent off MSRP. Wow. To eighty-nine nine ninety-five. And Andrea. That's amazing. As great as the price that is, there's always a little bit more. Absolutely. Do. I can always do a little better. Tell everybody how they can get it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or directly through my website, mattsrvreviews.com. Uh, let's continue the video. Also, sorry, uh, if you want to come to Ocala, Florida, General RV in Ocala, Florida, make sure you call me and schedule an appointment because <laughs> I'm busy now. And uh, we have <laughs> links to General RV down in the description below so you can see in stock inventory. Yay! Andrea, show everybody the kitchen. All right, here we go. Here we go Let's now. This window here, we got a little window, got the shade, got a tower of power. Oh, yeah. Or power of tower, as you I call it. Got some storage <laughs> over there on this side. Yes, we got a little storage here. Yep. We got the double sink. Hey, Andrea, is that a speaker? <gasps> yeah, that is <laughs> a speaker. <laughs> no. That's the heat dog. always make fun of me. Double sink, guys. Stainless steel recessed like sink. Like it. I actually like that. I don't, I don't expect that I on this. I like this. Look, check this out. Normally, yeah. you don't have that. You just have, like, a little part of it, but that's Right. Great. And I don't expect this on this uh, price point. Right. We got cabinets above. Uh-huh. Very nice. Uh-huh. And we got the cabinet under here. With Very the nice. We got four doors. Oh, nice. oh yeah, that's two. Guys, that's three. That's three. I love. Th what's up to three? Four. You gotta open it. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, check out this counter space. I like the counter space in here. Yeah, very good counter uh, space. Electrical outlet. 
Yep. Uh, the TV is in a weird spot, but hey, we're complaining about TVs all the time. And yep, first it world actually problems. Is a, it, it's okay in here. You know? It's not the best TV placement. It's not, but it, not it the worst. Swivel. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, it, it doesn't move out either. Yep. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's pretty good. And we got cabinets under there. Yep. Cabinet above the microwave. Oh yeah. Look at that great size microwave. Very nice. We got a three burner cooktop with glass cover. I like the backsplash. You do. I do. I actually like it. It looks good in here. Um, what's, you know what's funny, Andrea? What? so we did we did another motor home with this same backsplash yeah and you said you didn't like maybe it maybe i didn't like the colors with it that could have been it might be different colors yeah it, it just all depends because you said i'm calling you out girl call me out <laughs> no because you said you didn't like the countertop with the backsplash yeah color. but this i don't know it might have been like it didn't go <laughs> yeah. together oh i caught her andrea exposed oh my gosh. seriously uh-huh what are you gonna do now <laughs> It looks okay. That's what I'm saying. It looks okay with these colors. Okay, whatever. Well, ladies, if you agree with me, let me know. Yep, I'm just saying. Just I'm trying to make fun of me. I'm calling you out. Got a nice Furion oven. Yeah. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Uh, I like this that they give you this type of refrigerator. Yeah, me too. It runs off uh, propane and shore power. But yep. the good thing about it is it's more like a residential style because it gives you so much more room. Well, it's not residential style. It's residential size. That's what I mean. With the RV that, style. That's what I'm saying. I like it. Yes. I like it. I don't like that it's this wood color, but I would like that they gave you this option in here so you have more space. Yeah, I like and it. And then, where are we at? Oh, oh time for the, the bathroom. Panel. Yep. Okay. And here you got your panel. Oh, wow. Check your tanks and all that. You got your inverter. Yep. And your thermostat. Yep, Andrea. I like this shower we size. We do like this shower. It's a pretty good size. It's a 30 by 36 shower, glass door. It's that split bathroom that you have to kind of walk through. You know, this is really a motorhome for two people, you know. Well, and let's see. And if you see. want to stand over there. There we go with the door for privacy. Privacy. And then you have an accordion door right here. Yep. Then check out this bathroom. Look at this toilet placement. It's nice how it's on an angle. I don't think you're going to like it. Sounds like it's plastic. Plastic. Womp, womp, womp. But... There's no buts about it. Matt, there's all paper holders in a good spot. That's what I'm saying. There's no buts about it. This is actually in a good spot. I, it's sad that it's porcelain. And look at that. Check out that big window behind you. I like yep. that. You got yep. a fan. And yep. then let's just see that medicine cabinet. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I like that. Mm-hmm. Close the other side. Very nice. And then you got a towel holder here. Check out the cute little sink. Yep. Got, yep. I bet you that's for sponges. Yep. And then you got your cabinet down here, guys. And Very then nice. shelves over there, which is nice. Yep. All right, time for the bedroom. Right back here. Here's your bedroom. Queen size bed on the slide out. I love the two windows on the sides. You have plenty of space to actually walk around. I like that. You have your light storage. These are blue lights that when you hold down, they turn bright white. I like that because this blue gives it a nice ambiance glow in the middle of the night, which will light it all up. And the headboard. It's okay. I like how you have a window right here. I do like this. I am a fan of the cute little pillow. Look guys, it has the world on it. That's adorable. Oh yeah, we do like that. Got another window over here. Uh huh. I do like the cabinets. Very, Very cute. Nice. And, and then, then across, you got tons of storage the over here. The wardrobe. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Here's the other Very wardrobe. Big. Look at that. There's your table for up front with the passenger driver's seat. Yep. Now let's see. This prep for a television right here. Okay. You got this little nook. Nice. You got a drawer. A drawer. Look how many drawers are in here, man. Look at that. And then what, pull eight out drawers. Those big drawers. Eight oh my drawers. goodness. Very nice. That is insane. Uh-huh. Tons I of storage. I love in here. it. Again, I'm coining this the storage motor home. Let's see if there's storage. Be of course there is. <laughs> of course there is. Oh, we got a little bit here. A little bit. A little bit. But Andrea, this motor home has a ton of storage, both inside and outside. And as great as this motor home is, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motor home and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okie dokie. Can I go first? Certainly. All right. I already said it. Not a fan of accordion style doors, guys. Oh, for the back bedroom. Uh, yep. I'm pretty sure that they could have put a pocket door on here or yep. something. 
But yeah, not a fan of that. Never will be. Never have been, never will be. Again, the refrigerator. I I would like that it was maybe had the metallic look instead of this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before you do another dislike, you have to announce that it's number two. Number two! Okay. I don't like the color of this refrigerator, guys. So you rather have a stainless steel refrigerator. Exactly. Okay. okay. And that's my two. And then number three, I'm going to say I'm not a fan that there's no computer tray up there. Yes. You know, uh, it kind of stinks. Um, if you're looking at this one of 2020, you just kind of got to live with it. But again, I heard Integra made some moves in 2021. So, you know, you'll be paying a lot more money for a 2021, but you'll get the computer tray. Is it worth it? Eh, to some people it is, some people it isn't. Great, so that's the three things we don't like about it. Now, it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andrea. Yes. You go first, because I go. got number two and three. Okay, I love the counter space in here. Yes. I, I, I love the counter For a small 31 foot motorhome, yes, yep. Yes, and I love the sink. Yeah, no, big, big shout out. Like, that's really you good. did a great job. Nice stainless steel recessed yep. sink. Did a great job on it. Very good that. job. You know, they, they could have and they should have actually made it the cheaper sink, but, you know, it, it just is what it is. Even, you you want to add something? Yep. Even this is better. Okay. So that's one. Number two. You ready? Oh. Let me get here. All right. So this is the walkway when, when the slide is in, guys. That, Look at Andrea, that. I absolutely love that. That is Look at the that. walkway when the slide out is all the way in. And I absolutely love that. Again, just like my favorite Class C floor plan, the 29V, you don't need the slide outs out to use this motorhome and you still have a ton of space. And then number three, want to, I want you to take a look at the inside. Now let's go to the outside. Number three, I absolutely love how much storage you're getting both interior and exterior. Andrea, it's amazing. You don't get this with the smaller motorhomes because this is on the lighter weight frame and yeah. but for them to give you this much storage, it's absolutely amazing. I love the slam latch doors, uh, especially for the price point of a motorhome. I love it. But that's it, that's the review. I would like to add one last thing. Um, you know, it'd be very hard to decide between this and the uh, Integra Odyssey 29V. because they're both the same floor plans. I just think they're great. But that's it, that's the review. If you have any other questions about this motorhome or any other motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. Or you can check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker, bing, right there. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Guys, let us know the three things that you like about this motorhome and the three things that you dislike. We know Integra does read it, so let's change history. Also, guys, ding, if you haven't seen the new, the puppy, here's an update. She Very loves you know. picture taken. Uh-huh. Um, also, if you haven't gotten a sticker, make sure you go to mattsrvreviews.com and re re uh, purchase your sticker. Ding. Great. Thanks, guys, for watching. We love you. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Andrea. Well, well, well sorry, <laughs> I got distracted by all the bugs. There was like a swarm of bugs. Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.